Hello, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at the Silverstone FHS-140X, which is an industrial fan and one of the more powerful fans on the market that can, some consumers, and especially enthusiasts, overclockers, and extreme cooling uh, people are looking at. Um, this was kindly donated to me by Silverstone. This is the second one. The first one they sent, unfortunately, who um, the shipper damaged it in transportation. It wasn't packaged well enough. When you have a dual ball bearing fan, especially a heavy one like this, or the B Gears uh, B Blaster 120 by 38R that I reviewed and had to do several videos on, or not several, but a few videos on it because I kept on receiving damaged units. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so the same thing happened in shipping. It wasn't from the, the manufacturer, Silverstone. It was in shipping that it got thrown around or dropped or whatever, and that caused damage to the ball bearings. It still works. I still have it. It's just the bearings are damaged, so it's not going to be optimum. So they sent me a replacement so I can do a proper review of this for you. And this is what it looks like. 38 millimeters thick so it's a really monstrous one in fact um <laughs> i sent a clip to tony at um he's the marketing manager at silverstone in the u.s in california and uh <laughs> so that he could hear the noise from the bad bearings and uh, he wrote back and he said please put the screen on be careful i don't want you to <laughs> hurt your fingers or whatever and uh yeah, it, it, he thought it came shipped with the screen on it, and that is one of the things that comes with the fan, but it's not shipped w on the fan. So you, these are, if you want the best airflow, the least resistance, uh, but protecting your fingers, these are the best choice. They don't do squat for uh, dust, though. But uh, for finger protection, you can't beat that. Then it also comes, if you want to power it from the uh power supply here's a SATA power supply connector and it also has eight fan bolts so you can connect it to the computer as well as have the screen mounted let's go ahead and listen to it all right at very low speeds you go I'm hearing a bit of a ticking noise from the bearings but not too loud So as you can tell, it's a very, very loud fan, which is why it's an industrial fan. This would be used for servers and other applications where you need high power and high um, lots of airflow and static pressure, in other words. And, oh, wow. I am not even sure what number this would be. Um, but it's, like, way out here. So I'm going to call it a... 10 it's probably more than that though but yeah it's hard to say you can use this for anything including servers don't have a lot of fans that have this much power and this is not the strongest fan that i've got but it's um according to hardware busters it's one of the best in the 140 range but they also uh at hardware busters do not have all of the uh, fans that I have, and I don't have all the fans they have. So, you know, between all of us legitimate re reviewers, as opposed to the shills and the people who just don't understand what they're doing at all, um, 
you can get the right idea, basically. Um, could you please help me out by liking, subscribing, and sharing, and commenting? Uh, it just takes a few moments of your time, and it makes a big difference for me, even if it's a short comment. Um, if you want to ask a question or you have a suggestion for future content, as long as I don't have to buy something because I'm way in over my head as far as all the money I've spent. Now, fortunately, Silverstone donates their products as far as like the the recent ones that I've mentioned are donations, the, the FHS 120 and 140X, and then uh, some of the air penetrators and the uh, Silverstone uh, SETA A2 a case. Um, all the other silver stones I bought uh, prior to uh, having a uh, been contacted by Silverstone where they offered products to me. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at the camera. I, you know, we are trained to look at faces, so I keep on shifting over to where I see my face on the screen. And even though there's a part of me that says, that's your face, you're, <laughs> you don't have to look at yourself. It's hard to get my brain to not look at you. You are the important people. So... Um, thank you very much for any help you can provide. If even if you don't want to join Patreon, uh, that's that's okay. Um, a, a positive word of support is really nice. And thanks to um, again to the guy who um, runs Random ASDFX for being supportive on one of my videos. I appreciate that. All right, let's go ahead and look at the specs. The Silverstone, um, I don't know why I have this one marked as by Coolcox, because it's not. I'm going to erase that. Um, the FHS-140X, uh, also known as the SST-FHS-140X. Also, uh, they're on the body, or on the hub, I should say, is printed CC14038H12D. Uh, as, as the model number. So I'm gonna, one of these days I'm going to have to remember to ask Tony uh, or somebody <laughs> why there are so many different numbers on some of these. And so this is approximately a $30 fan. I don't know because I didn't pay for it. Uh, but I looked it up and I saw it was $30 on one website. Of course, there are sales sometimes. Uh, certified CE e Underwriter Laboratories E493507 UKCA and ROHS made in China 140 by 38 millimeters uh, it is a one year warranty in the US and in Australia yeah Oz means Australia for those who are not familiar with that um, colloquial name for Australia it is very heavy 390 grams seven blades 125 uh, millimeters between the mounting holes, 800 to 3,400 RPMs, 222.95 CFMs of airflow, 10 millimeters of static pressure, and 50 decibels at maximum. I think um, this is one of the, as far as airflow is concerned, this is one of the strongest fans I've got. And again, also, as far as static pressure, it's one of the fa strongest fans I've got. 31-centimeter uh, fan cable that is not daisy-chainable or sleeved. And it's PWM and dual ball bearings, 12 volts starting at 8, although it can be dropped down to lower than 8 in order to have it go at a slower speed. 13.2 watts, 1.1 amps. So, yes, it does use a fair amount of uh, electricity. However, if we compare that to, if you look up to the second from the top there, we've got the, um, well, not even that one, I guess. I'd have to go up quite a ways to find another one that, that is uh, con as consumptive as this fan. But uh, you get the idea. Now, um, it doesn't have any indicators for direction of rotation and flow. Turns in a clockwise direction. It comes with a screen or grill, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it comes with eight fan bolts and a 44 centimeter SATA to two wire male and female PWM plugs. So yeah, it's got two separate plugs for PWM, male and female. And that's it. 
Hello, thanks for watching my video and I need to ask for your help. Um, so my financial situation has become very uncertain with my employer and also with the workers' comp case I have from an injury I had at work uh, last year in 2023 uh, for which I'm currently suing the workers' comp company. I really don't know what's going to happen in the next few months, but in I, if you can find it within your ability without screwing yourself up to uh, help me out, you have two options. Um, one of those is which is to just go to my channel, Glenn's Fast Reviews, and uh, make a one-time donation there. Or if you would want to do a re uh, repeating donation, a monthly donation, you can go to patreon.com slash... Um, <coughs> So slash G L E N N M I I. That's G as in Glenn, L E N as in Nancy, N as in Nancy, M as in Mary, I I. No, not I I, but I I, right? And uh, there are various choices for you to uh, sign up for. Um, if you cannot afford the lowest um, option that I have put up there. Let me know and I will put in a lower option that can work for other people. Um, also, I want to say thank you to my very first Patreon, Rudik uh, from Australia, who has been very kind enough to uh, support me and even said if I can't afford the postage to send the gifts that he has uh, become eligible for, that's okay. Um, I will certainly try to do that anyways. Um, and uh, it, it means a lot because not only did you um, choose to financially support me, but you've also been supportive in some of your, in some comments on my, some of my videos. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. So um, yeah, if there are any questions, please put them in the comments and uh, you here or on Patreon. And uh, I will try to get back to as quickly as possible sometimes I don't see comments right away because of the way YouTube works and uh, oh by the way um, thank you to bleeping computer and it's the owner of bleeping computer who goes by the name of Grindler online on uh, on his uh, website for allowing me to use his platform to promote my channel uh, the PC expert amateur and uh, I appreciate it very much, and you sh if you need help with, uh, say, malware or, or technical problems with your computer, the uh, Bleeping Computer volunteers are a good bunch of people who have a, a great deal of knowledge about a lot of different kinds of problems with computers, um, and with mal there is a dedicated volunteer <coughs> malware removal team there. Sorry. And... We'll be happy to help you. And you can just go to bleepingcomputer.com and click on the forums. There's also lots of uh, great news about cybersecurity, about hackers and stuff like that.